Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this side length of this uh, triangle is uh, 20 units. And the hypotenuse uh, of this uh, triangle is being uh, represented by X. And furthermore, uh, the area of this circle has been given to us as uh, 625 pi square units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, we are going to calculate the length uh, of this uh, hypotenuse uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on the area of this uh, circle, which is 625 times pi. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the radius uh, lowercase r uh, of this uh, circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And in our case, uh, the area of the circle has been given to us as 625 times pi. So we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our area is 625 times uh, pi equal to pi times uh, r square. And now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by pi, pi on the right hand side as well. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone. Likewise, this pi and pi is gone. So therefore, uh, our square value turns out to be 625. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our radius uh, lowercase r value turns out to be 25 uh, units. So thus we figured out the radius of this circle as uh, 25. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. And if we could uh, somehow find the value of this side uh, AC, we could easily apply the Pythagorean theorem and could figure out uh, x value. So therefore, now our very first task is uh, to find uh, the value of this uh, side uh, AC first. And now I'm going to share with you the very first method. And now we are going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, vertex B, as you can see in this uh, next step. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, OBC. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this uh, circle, and we know the radius is 25. So I'm going to write down 25 over here as radius and likewise uh, OB is the radius as well. So therefore this is going to be 25 units as well. So therefore now our only task is uh, to find the value of this uh, tiny segment uh, OC. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, OBC. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets uh, 3, 4 and 5. And if I multiply these uh, triplets uh, by 5 uh, across the board, then our uh, new set of uh, Pythagorean triplets are going to become uh, 15, uh, 20, and 25. Since uh, 5 times 3 is uh, 15, 5 times 4 is uh, 20, and 5 times 5 is uh, 25. And here in this uh, triangle OBC, we know this side is uh, 25, this side is uh, 20. So therefore, uh, this uh, unknown side uh, OC has got to be 15 units. So thus our this uh, tiny segment uh, OC length turns out to be 15. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, side AC length has got to be 25 plus uh, 15. If we add them, that is going to give us uh, 40 units. So thus our uh, this uh, side AC length uh, turns out to be 40 units by using the very first method. And uh, in this uh, next step, I'm going to share with you the second method uh, to calculate uh, this side uh, AC. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, 
we have extended uh, this side uh, AC all the way to D such that uh, this uh, AD is the diameter of this circle and likewise uh, we extended uh, this uh, BC side all the way to E and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord and we can see BE is our chord and this is uh, perpendicular so therefore uh, this side uh, BC length has got to be equal to this uh, CE length if this length is uh, 20 then this CE length uh, has got to be 20 units as well and in this uh, next step I'm going to label uh, this uh, tiny side uh, CD as uh, lowercase a and we know that uh, this uh, AD is the diameter and we know the diameter is going to be twice the radius which is going to be 50 units so therefore uh, this remaining uh, segment uh, AC is going to be 50 minus a so I'm going to write down 50 minus uh, a so thus we figured out our all these uh, four uh, segments uh, this segment is 50 minus a this segment CD is lowercase a this uh, segment uh, BC is 20 and this uh, segment uh, CE is 20 as well and now let's recall the intersecting chords uh, theorem according to this theorem if two chords intersect in a circle uh, then the products uh, of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this given diagram here we can see these two chords uh, AC and BD intersect uh, each other and as a result we are ended up with these uh, segments uh, A, B, C and D respectively such that uh, A times B is going to be equal to C times D and now we are going to apply this uh, intersecting chords theorem on this uh, given problem we can see we got these two chords uh, A, D and this uh, other chord uh, BE and they intersect each other at this point uh, C such that the products uh, of these uh, segments uh, 50 minus A times A is going to be equal to 20 times uh, 20 so therefore we can write down uh, A times uh, 50 minus uh, A is going to be equal to 20 times uh, 20 on the right hand side and now we are going to distribute so therefore we are going to get uh, 50 times uh, a minus uh, a square is going to be equal to 400 and now in this uh, next step I'm going to move uh, everything uh, on the other side so therefore we are ended up with uh, a square minus uh, 50 times uh, a plus uh, 4 100 is going to be equal to 0 so now we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping and factoring and now we are going to tweak uh, this uh, middle term negative 50 a this could be written as uh, negative 10 a minus uh, negative 40 a and we know 10 times 40 is going to give us uh, 400 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this whole thing uh, with this one and now we can see for this uh, first equation uh, A is in common and for this uh, second equation we got uh, negative 40 is in common so therefore we can write A times uh, A minus uh, 10 and then uh, minus 40 times uh, A minus uh, 10 uh, equals to 0 so we are going to be ended up with uh, a minus 10 times uh, a minus 40 equal to 0 so we got two factors equal to 0 we're going to separate them we can write a minus 10 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be a minus 40 equal to 0 for this first equation a value turns out to be positive 10 for this uh, second equation a value tends turns out to be positive 40 and now we can see that uh, a equals to 40 value is not uh, feasible 
So therefore, we are going to reject uh, this a equals to 40 value and we are going to accept a equals to 10 value. So thus we can see our a value turns out to be 10. So therefore, our this uh, segment uh, AC length uh, is going to be 50 minus a value is 10. So that is going to give us uh, 40 units. So thus we figured out our uh, this side uh, AC length as uh, 40 units by using the second method as well. And here is our final step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, X. Whereas uh, our two other legs are uh, 40 and uh, 20. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 40 square plus uh, 20 square equals to x square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 1600 plus 400 is going to be equal to x square so therefore x square value turns out to be 2000 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we can see that our x value turns out to be if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 20 times uh, square root of uh, 5 uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 20 times uh, square root of 5 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 44.72 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye